Hey guys, Brian here from Liquid Concepts. So today we're gonna to talk a little bit about the tools of the trade. And so if you've seen any of our other videos, of course we do tons of hydrographics, everything like that. But we thought we'd shoot a quick little video and show you guys the tools of the trade and pretty much the top five most used tools in our trade for hydrographics, water transfer printing, whatever you wanna call it. And so let's get started. So number one is going to be a tank. The tank is definitely the most critical part of the whole entire system because of course without the tank you can't do any of the dipping. Now you don't have to have a very expensive tank but you definitely have to have some sort of way to hold the material and hold the water and everything like that. So let's go on to number two. So number two is going to be a rinse station. So rinse stations do not have to be this elaborate. They don't have to be this complex. Mainly just a hose and pretty much on the shower setting is perfectly fine. Get a garden hose outside, spray your parts off. That's perfectly fine. But whenever you're doing tons of contracts or bigger jobs or things like that, um, definitely having a rinse station of this size or something like that can definitely increase your productivity uh, exponentially. So number three is definitely going to be a paint booth or an area to spray the paint in. Of course, we have a full size paint booth. We can pull cars and everything like that in there, but normally that is not the case. We are stacking this thing full of all kinds of different parts from guns to four wheelers to wheels or anything in between. We're stacking it all in here and of course the larger the booth the larger areas that you can batch all at one time and then of course it makes it a lot better for just the throughput of the shop itself so having a designated area for painting is definitely going to be critical because this this process itself is always going to be super reliant on your paints, primers, clear coats, things like that. So you definitely have a have to have a good, well ventilated area to spray all those in. So number four, four is definitely going to be a sandblasting cabinet. Um, you don't have to have one of these, but it is very necessary whenever you start to do a lot of products all at one time or you're wanting to get a lot better quality of uh, coating for durability and longevity in the long term because the sandblaster it gets in all the nooks and crannies it gets everywhere it gives you a lot better surface for your coating to stick to which therefore gives the customer a lot better coating overall so definitely have to have a sandblaster if you're going to be doing this for quite a bit or doing lots of pieces all at one time. Number five is going to be a good quality paint gun. Now, of course, you don't always have to have the best of the best whenever you're doing this, but having a good quality paint gun will definitely help save you a lot of material as well as it's going to give you a really great finish coming out of the gun. And that's exactly what you're going to want whenever you're doing any type of coating, especially in this industry. So of course, the top five things, there are always going to be different circumstances for different people and different people are going to need different things. Now, of course, these are probably our top five things that you need to get started into the hydrographics now in saying that are you going to need other things yes you definitely are so there are always going to be other things but those are probably going to be the top five on the most important things that you'll need to get started into the hydrographics now of course even with like for instance a paint gun you're still going to need an air compressor to run that paint gun and of course just like everything else, you're going to need other things. And so hopefully, um, you know, this has really helped you guys out to at least see what are gonna be some of the top things to start looking for to help either up your game or to try to get into the hydrographics industry. And that will really help you guys out. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. As always, if you have any questions or comments, definitely leave them below. We'd love to hear from you on anything hydrographics related, as well as let me know if you think that I may have missed anything on the top five for the hydrographics itself. Also, if you haven't already, definitely hit the subscribe button. We'd love to have you subscribe to our weekly tips and tricks. As always, definitely check out the links in the description. It's going to have links to our website, which has pretty much everything that you're going to need for the water transfer printing from 
tanks to training to film to any of the supplies paints or anything like that definitely check out the website that it's going to be your go-to for anything in the hydrographics field as always i'm brian from liquid concepts and this is how we customize your world we'll see you guys next time